Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and former President Donald Trump has made a blockbuster vice presidential announcement for 2024. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So the former president had a blockbuster interview with Meet the Press, and the whole world is talking about it. Now, a lot of people are complaining that the interviewer wasn't tough enough on Trump because, you know, she was fair to him, and how could we have that? How could we have a fair interview on a mainstream media channel, right? She did a great job, Kristen Welker. She gave him tough questions, but she was fair. She didn't attack him, and I think that was nice. Now, she did ask a question about who he would pick for vice president, and he, she asked him what he thought about having a woman as his vice president. Now, Trump said he liked the idea, but he expanded on it even further and dropped a name. And I think, well, you know what? Let's take a look and you tell me what you think. In the nomination, let's take a look. Mr. President, have you thought about a potential running mate if you were to win the nomination? I like not to think too much about that. Uh, you always do a little bit, but I, I really don't think it's time I want to win. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting about running mates. Uh, when you get down to a vice president, they said no, nobody's ever made that kind of a difference. It's still about the person that's going to be president. Are you it's leaning, an important decision. Are you leaning toward a woman? I like the concept, but mm. we're going to pick the best person. But lot, I do like the concept, yes. A lot of people noticed when Governor Nome endorsed you, there were Trump Nome signs. Do you have her, your eye on her? I do. I think she's fantastic. She's been a great governor. She gave me a very uh, full-throated endorsement, a beautiful endorsement, actually. And, uh, you know, it's been a very good state for me. Mm. And uh, certainly she'd be one of the people I'd consider or for something else, maybe. But we have a lot of people. We have a, a lot of great people in the Republican Party. So, Kristen, we should note his previous vice president, Mike Pence, is now running against him, condemning his actions around the 2020 election, particularly on January 6th. So what did you take away from that answer? Well, it was really fascinating. This is the first time that we have heard. The now, for me personally, Noam is the perfect choice. I think she is fantastic. She's done a great job as governor. She has experience. She's young. She's very popular. And, you know, she fits the MAGA agenda. She is a Trump person all the way. I love that about her. And I think that she could really be something special if given the opportunity. Trump and Nome, I don't know if you can beat that ticket. Trump and Nome versus Biden and Harris. I mean, you're talking about, I think, a much safer ticket. Because even if you're concerned about age, you say, well, Trump's older too. Okay, but Nome isn't older. Nome is still young. Harris is also still young, but if you got to pick between Harris and Noam in terms of popularity, in terms of competency, in terms of ability to do the job, in terms of somebody who's actually led a government, because being a governor is leading a state government, whereas being a senator, you're one of a hundred. So there's executive experience there. I think Trump and Noam wins that victory hands down, in my opinion. I definitely want to know what you think. Would you pick her for vice president? Do you have somebody else in mind for vice president? I also like that Trump didn't say it would definitely be a woman. He didn't say, you know, he didn't do that pandering thing and say, well, it's going to definitely be a woman. He's going to pick the best person. If that person happens to be a woman, great. But he's not going to eliminate all the men just so he can win some points. But I want to know again what you guys think. Who would you pick for vice president? Please let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Again, that really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.